70 years after the serendipitous discovery of chlorpromazine as the first treatment for psychosis, we are finally at a situation where four different mechanisms of action, four different me medications are being pursued for the treatment of schizophrenia. Three of them have one phase 2b study that is positive. They only require one additional study for us to be able to use this kind of medication as a novel non-postsynaptic dopamine D2 receptor blocking agent that can help patients with schizophrenia. It is exciting that each of those medications has very little side effects. Since it's not a postsynaptic D2 blocker, there is no side effect in terms of Parkinsonism, akathisia, and prolactin elevation. There's also no relevant weight gain that is greater than placebo or cardiometabolic risk that has been identified so far. Which are these four medications? First, there is a TAR1 agonist, a trace amine associated receptor agonist, Eulotarond. And the name Eulotarond already tells you that the WHO has recognized that this is a new class of medication. TAR1 receptors are intracellular. They're interesting because they can dimerize, hug with the D2 receptor and it's internalized. And there's also a reduction in D2 and dopamine firing presynaptic. This may become the first presynaptic treatment for schizophrenia. Then we have two muscarinic agents. Zanomaline, an M1, M4 muscarinic agonist that is coupled with a non-centrally active anticholinergic trospium chloride neutralizing some of the peripheral side effects that have stalled the development and further development of xenomaline for the treatment of schizophrenia. And then there's also CVL231, an M4 positive allosteric modulator that increases the um, muscarinic M4 firing in a different way and downstream leads like xenomaline to a reduction in dopamine output. And then finally, there's pimavanserin, already approved for the treatment of Parkinson's psychosis, which is currently under development as an augmentation treatment for patients with predominant negative symptoms. And again, had also one positive study. 